In this coffee cup calibrimetry problem, a 25 gram sample of an unknown metal at 90 degrees, 90.00 degrees Celsius, is dropped into 100.0 milliliters of water at a lower temperature, 20.50 degrees Celsius. After equilibration, the final temperature of the mixture is 21.02 degrees Celsius, and we're asked to calculate the specific heat of the unknown metal, given that the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. The relevant equation for a coffee cup calorimeter says that the amount of heat transfer, Q, it can be calculated as the product of the mass times the specific heat capacity, C sub S, times the change in temperature represented here as delta T. We also know that since the metal is at a higher temperature than the water initially, then the amount of heat lost by the metal has to be gained by the water, and therefore we can state that Q for the metal is equal to negative Q for the water, since they have the same magnitude of heat transferred but opposite in sign because one's giving off heat, one's absorbing heat. And that tells us then that we can equate the expressions for Q for the metal and Q for the water, taking into account the negative sign highlighted here in blue. And we can see that we have all of the quantities that we need except for the specific heat capacity of the metal in blue again here. So we simply need to plug in all the other values and solve for the thing that we don't know. First, we're going to calculate the delta T, the change in temperature for both the metal and the water. Again, keeping in mind that equilibration in the original problem refers to the fact that both the metal and the water will reach the final, uh, the same final temperature. So we're using the same T sub F, the final temperature for both the metal and the water of 21.02 degrees Celsius. And when we subtract the initial temperature for each, we get a negative 68.98 degrees Celsius for delta T for the metal, since it dropped its temperature, and a positive 0 0.52 degrees Celsius for delta T for the water. If we plug in all the given values and units, make sure you keep units on everything to make sure that all of the units are self-consistent, we solve for C sub S for the metal, and we find a value of 0 0.126 joules per gram per degree Celsius.